Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites. I'm Ethan. I'm scared of this thing. Now, if you couldn't tell, I'm really excited for the 4th of July, and it's coming up very soon. I just think it's like such a fun holiday because it's like an outdoors kind of get-together holiday, and you watch fireworks, and it's just so fun. Now, another thing that's super fun to me is smoothies. I just really enjoy smoothies, and I don't know why, but it's just like you combine all of your favorite ingredients into a blender, mix it up, and then drink it, and it's just super yummy. So today we are going to be combining the 4th of July with smoothies and making a layered smoothie. We're going to layer this smoothie with red, white, and blue layers. Very fitting. And I felt like making a smoothie because why not start the 4th of July right away? Like right in the morning, you get up, you have this awesome festive smoothie. Now if you are looking for a dessert or a big sweet treat, we are going to be making something very special on the channel this Tuesday. So make sure to subscribe and come back to check that out. It's gonna be like a big mega cupcake pull apart cake. Subscribe. So if you're ready to kick off these 4th of July festivities, let's get started in making this smoothie. And the ingredients for this recipe are ice cubes, three cups of almond milk, one banana, one cup fresh raspberries, and one cup fresh blueberries. When I was setting up the blender, I was actually thinking of like, 4th of July movies and music because I kind of always think about movies and music that's what this whole channel is about and I was thinking of like the most 4th of July song and the most 4th of July movie and I can tell you the song definitely Firework by Katy Perry no one can tell me there's a more 4th of July song than Firework by Katy Perry like song is such a blast like ha, ha, ha. but for fourth of july movies i was thinking like independence day i don't really know leave a comment down below if you know a more patriotic movie the great thing about these smoothies are they are super customizable and you can really interchange a bunch of these ingredients i'm going to be using almond milk because i feel like when i make smoothies like the more healthier things you like sneak in there you don't taste it so why not use almond milk and I'm also going to be using fresh blueberries. You could be using frozen blueberries, blackberries, other blueberries, like different types of blueberries. I don't know if there are a thing. And what we're going to do is add one cup of almond milk, a handful of ice, and all of our blueberries into our blender. Now we're gonna blend this together until it forms a smoothie-like consistency. The thing about blueberries that kind of bothers me is that when you blend them together, they're really not blue. So I actually went ahead and added just a drop of blue food coloring really to get that look because it's not red, white, and purple. It's red, white, and blue. Another great thing about these smoothies is that they can be made ahead of time, made in advance the day before. You can store them. I'm actually going to be putting them into these really festive mason jars that I found. These are like 4th of July mason jars that got like a star with the flag on it. I'm going to take our smoothie and divide it evenly between the three mason jars. Pop the lids back on. And then we're gonna pop these into the freezer just for about 10 minutes, which is perfect so we can work on our next layer. We're doing this so we do get our layered effect, the red, the red, white, and blue. And when we pop them in the freezer, the top layer is just gonna solidify just a little bit, and then we can add on the next layer and the next layer. There aren't that many like white fruits, I mean, I was kind of thinking of like a coconut. You could do like a chia pudding. Ooh, that'd be good. Make myself hungry. Again, I'm going to add in a cup of almond milk, a few handfuls of ice, and our banana. Blend this together until smooth and creamy as well. I forgot the... <laughs> I forgot the thing. The whole blender. Oh my gosh. I found these like really festive 4th of July sunglasses. So, how do I look? Cool. I'm gonna talk like this with these on. Our smoothies have been setting in the fridge for about 15 minutes and the blue layer is just starting to freeze. So now we can add on our banana white layer. Simply pour this over the top slowly and then pop these back into the fridge and allow those to set for another 10 to 15 minutes. It's finally time for our red layer and we are going to be using raspberries because they're my favorite. However, you could use strawberries or cherries or anything you'd like that's red. Just like all the others, we're going to add in a cup of almond milk, a handful of ice. Oh, 
There's no leaf. I always like it when I find a leaf. I feel like it. It's so fancy, like a little garnish. Like it makes me feel like it's so fresh. But it's probably just laziness, and I shouldn't be so excited about a leaf. And all of our raspberries to our blender. I'll eat this one too. Oh, and the blade is in it this time, so we can blend this smoothie mixture up one more time. The banana layer of our smoothies have set, and now we can carefully pour on our raspberry layer. Now, however, this time I'm gonna add in some straws, paper straws. However, you can add whatever you'd like to yours. To finish off these smoothies, I actually made a little decoration. These are just some skewers that I cut to size, and then I kind of made like, I was thinking of it as like a rocket, like the top and the bottom, and this is like the body of the rocket. And I'm just gonna put these into our smoothie as well. And here we have it, our 4th of July inspired smoothies that we made today. Each layer corresponds to a different flavor with blueberry, banana, and raspberries. Again, you can get super creative with this and add whatever you'd like to your smoothie. And this is a perfect 4th of July treat that you can make ahead of time for the morning of the 4th. And if you do happen to make this, please share it with me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, if you have any other requests for another Celebrity Sweets, please leave it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share this video with someone who's looking for a 4th of July treat, a quick, simple smoothie recipe, and tell them to subscribe. Let's try to hit 100 subscribers. Just like, send this video to them and tell them, oh, send it with like the firework effect. Just say, hey, check this out, subscribe. And until next time, savor life and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donate right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video, and down here's what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.